All right, all right, my lovely friends. So now we are going to be splining. <clears throat> so what we'll do, we'll just grab everything. So I'm just grabbing everything and I'm literally coming in here. Let's get all the keys inside, but not the outside ones, right? And let's just go to, I'll use these keys there. I know I've got my shortcut, but I'll use these. Let's go to flat. Okay, now we go to flat. And then what I, what I normally do is I select, I don't select the feet. I just select the top area. And then I select everything in between and I go to spline because we want the, we want the feet to be flat because they're on the ground, right? So that's an easy way of, so that, that's to avoid the floatiness. So if we look now, yeah, so you can see the feet are just flat, it's flat, yeah, on the floor there. Now if I did spline, look what would have happened. So if I splined all this, Check this out. I'll give you an example. You can see it's moving up. It's moving up. It's just all a bit... Uh, let me just flatten this. Well, actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, I have to say it's not too bad. Normally, when you spline, it can go through the ground, but I'll take that back. But, you know, we're going to end up flattening these anyway. So what we'll do, we'll just undo that flatten it okay so now you can see it's not too bad is it? it's not too bad all right so what we'll do that first thing I like to do is just come in here and when you cycle I like to actually actually you know what let's spline it all and just cycle yeah, let's spline it all. It doesn't matter. Me. Okay, so when we see, if we look here, we can see the cycle here is pretty cool. So we can just start just matching these up a little bit, you know. You don't have to spend too much time. But we're just going through the ups and downs. This is uh, of the hips. And we'll sort this out later. We'll sort all the values out. That's cool. Now uh, with no rotations. Then we can go to the rotation bit. Let me select everything here again. Because this select it all again. Oh let's just spline it all. Spline, yeah, and then we'll cycle, cycle these two icons here. Uh to cycle as you can see. It's cycling this way and that way. Alright, so we've got our cycle. Now we can go that down in. For example, get the hips. You can see here, we flatten these because we want it to be a nice cycle coming in out. Okay. And then we can, we'll just clean it up a bit, but we can always play around with it later. Rotation there, then we get the rotation underneath. Just get them slightly lined up, you know, so this all like lined up. And we're going to be playing around with these values more and more as we start refining, but we're just trying to clean up. So we're just cleaning up these values. So it just looks smooth. All right, same here. Got all this. All right. Uh, we got this one. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool too. Right, so we're just roughly trying to just clean up, get it all a little bit smooth, you know. Okay, now you see we're starting to see a little of this jutter happening, and let's smooth this out too. This is the Pull vectors, as you can see. We'll cycle this one as well. So it's all nice and smooth. Yeah. All right. Let's 
move this out to just want to start matching the tangents you know it's important in games cycling you have to match the tangents otherwise it's not going to be as smooth all right so we've got all that happening let's check out the feet so let's flatten these so let's check the feet out All right, for some reason, let's delete these keys here. Yeah, we don't need X yet. We could do that later. And of course, Z, we can select all the in-betweens and spline that. Alt S, but you can go here and press spline. So we just want to come in and smooth these out. Let's check out the foot roll. All right, so let's just smooth that. And the toe area as well. Just want to get these all smoothed out. Spline. Again. Don't know why those values are coming there. Uh, we can flatten that because that's going to be on the floor. Cycle this. Flatten these end keys so it's smooth. Goes smoothly. That's fine. Foot roll again. We can flat flatten this we can play around with that or we'll cycle this let's make sure these cycles are smooth there okay so we've got that all smooth and you can immediately see the feet are a bit more smoother there you see that and there's a few things we can start playing with so you will get in there get in there slowly yeah okay now so let's have a look at this. So we've got the feet here. All right, and that's the foot roll. So when the foot comes down, we want it to snap. So here we want it to go down, snap, and then back. And even here, we might want to put it down a little bit. Then it goes up. Then it rolls. We might want to push that up a bit. This bit here, we might want to just smooth that out. Yeah, so we're getting a bit more smoother there now, see? And then we can... It's a little bit of a stop. Actually, that one's smooth. We're looking at this one. This one is coming back. It's cycling quite nice, right? Okay, then we get the toes. And the toes, we're going to rotate in X. So let's have a look. As it comes here, we'll put the toe up. So I'll just copy that to the end because that's going to match then. And then as it comes down, it's not, we'll key it there, but we're going to slap it on the next one because the heel comes down first. And then the toes, right? In fact, no, we'll leave it like that. It's just designed like that, the rig. In fact, we can go down flat, completely flat. Yeah, let's copy that. Let's make it completely flat. Okay, we made it completely flat. And then what we can do is here, we'll just copy this value all the way across here because this part here is when it's on is on the floor and we want it to stay the same yeah so we've got that little bit of a flop and then as it comes up here we want it to it's got already going back back yeah that's fine and you're gonna you get that little flop you see so that that foot seems all right so what we'll do we'll go back here to the other foot and same thing so if we look here we come here it comes up okay that's fine
fine. And then when you come, let's, let's check this out. So when you come here, it goes up and then what we want to do We want to get that. Let's get the foot control. Let's sort out the stop first. Yeah. So, so we worry about the foot later. Can you see it's going up and then down? So we want to come here and let's check out the foot roll. So let's make that a bit low, light there. Okay, so what we'll do, let's make the ends. We want to make them a bit higher, right? Like this. Because this last pose here, okay, there's a bit of a lock there. Oh, so I reckon, we should have done, sorry, rookie mistake. Let's check out the hips first. We've got to make sure, stupid me, the hips have to be right. All right, silly me. Let's check out the hips values. Okay, so here we go. Once we get this right, then we can work on the feet. Apologies for that. So let's see. All right, let's do the hips first. So it comes down. And then up, down. Okay, I see what it is. So what we'll do, we'll copy this value and we want to make it the same here. So make sure that's the same value because we got it as a, okay, I don't know what's happened there. Copy, man, Maya doesn't copy sometimes. Huh? And then this next one, I think we brought it up a bit too much, so we want to bring that down as well. So we've got a cycle, nice cycle going there. This is a start position. And there, and then this has to be the same as the middle pose, the opposite way. Down there. Okay, the down positions need to be the same. So we're getting an exact cycle. Yeah, that's better. All right, so we got that working. That's fine. All right, that's cycling. Okay, that last foot is cool. So you can see how that this foot here is stopping. So what we'll do, let's have a look at that one. Right, you see what's happening here. So what we want to do is just lift this up a bit and then we can, there's a little bit of a stop there. So we'll work that out. I think that's the X, this one, yeah. So what we'll do, oops, key start that moving. So we move this up, we move this up slightly so it's moving. So it's getting there slowly. But it's a little bit... Let's get that a bit more. Cycling, all right, that's cycling. Let's get in there slowly now. Let's check out the foot roll. Foot roll. We're coming back. So we can bring this down a bit. A bit here.
Okay, let's cycle this. That's fine. Check out the foot roll now. Cycle this. Ah, see, it's easing in, easing out. See, that's what's happening. It does, that's why there's a slow... If you see here, there's an ease in and an ease out. So we want to cycle this. Maybe move this up a bit. Move this down a bit. Now, there, starting to, starting to cycle a bit more, right? That's what it was. So we're trying to match these tangents up nicely. So there isn't that little delay. So just move this down. Let's see, is there a stretch there? Yeah, there's a bit of a stretch there. So what we want to do is just slightly bend, bend it. Yeah, so you're getting more of a cycle there now, see? Yeah, so that's it. So you're getting that hips working. There you go. That's better, isn't it? And then we can start working from the hips and the shoulders and the arms. Then we can start adding the other mechanics. Okay. So that's what we'll do. So we've done, we've sorted out the hips and the legs. And we can do a bit more detail to the legs as to uh, later on when we polish. But at least we're, at least it's smooth. It's cycling smoothly, right? It's moving nicely. That's what we want. And then the knees are fine. And these hips. And these hip controls here, we can always... We have these nice controls here that we can use to control. Don't think we'll need them, but we'll see. We can always try and finesse them. All right, guys. So the next video, we'll start working on the arms. And then... We we'll work on the head. So bit by bit, we'll break it down slowly. So we step by step. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video.